Uh, I think that my Twitch stream blew up um, a ton because I always chose to try to be as transparent as possible with speedrunning. Um, to be honest, a lot of a lot of speedrunning, uh, most of the, the 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 groundwork and establishment to get good is usually done offline. People will grind, practice offline. They'll do um, uh, per level practice offline. They will do routing offline. Uh, I would say I was one. I'm one of the few who chooses, perhaps not effective, most effectively here, to uh, always have my speed running shown in all, all phases. So the experimentation and then the, the, uh, the blueprinting and the routing down to the execution, I usually do all of that online uh, because I, I enjoy the, the, the cycle of just showing everyone what speed running's full process is. I definitely think that, that was like one thing there was uh, people would tune in for that. But then um, that, that, I guess that process of having the uh, marketed accessibility where you're like, you're able to see everything, the complete journey, and not just the result of the journey, as in, you know, the, the, the being good at speedrunning and whatnot. Um, that is why I blew up. That is why bec uh, it, it, it translated very well once I was doing Years of Yoshi's Island. And then when Mario Maker happened in 2015 is when that, that big blow up happened because of all the things I applied in practice with making speedrunning accessible to watch for everyone.